many people in very high places have debated this topic, but I think that with, with the maths and general science shit that I just did, I think I've finally worked out the answer to the impossible question, are traps gay? Now, to answer this question, sat down, binge-watched about maybe six episodes of Rick and Morty, got a notepad, did some fucking science future maths on paper and shit, and fucking, I think I've worked out the answer. Now, you might be thinking, well, how the fuck did you do that? I mean, we've had people in fucking government that have been trying to do this, some for. Some people that are pretty flat fucking against it. Then some fucking naysayers sitting on the fence. Cherone. Non parlavano male degli altri. Non parlavano male uno dell'altro. No. In questo erano bravi. I mean, for fuck's sake, we're gonna start another holy war again. We're gonna have crusaders and stuff. Those are pretty goddamn important issues. But enough of that, let's get into the proof. Now, to make things clear, I'm talking about sex between two people here and you're watching it with your lotion and stuff. So, if it's two dudes having sex, that's gay. If there's two dudes, you're jerking off to dudes, and it's two people of the same gender having sex, that's gay. Don't really need to explain that. Now, heterosexual sex, 50% gay. You've got a guy, gay, but then cancelled out by the girl, which means one to one, that's 50%. So if you jerk off to that point, you are 50% gay. Now here comes traps. So the average penis is about 0 0.00016 meters cubed. That makes about 2.2% of an average male's volume. But these are traps. So the average volume is going to be quite a heckin' bit lower than 2.19%, probably more along the lines of 1.5% at the absolute most. Which means trap sex is only 1.5% gay. Which means that it's 98.5% straight. Now, you might think, well, doesn't lesbian sex beat that? But that's two people of the same gender having sex, therefore, that is gay. <laughs> 